Okay, so in this video, we are going to explore uh, the perpendicular bisectors of triangles and seeing how they can be useful to us. So now, right here, I have a problem that states that I have three different cities, Oxford, Oregon Charter Township, and Independence Charter Township, where Clarkston is. And uh, I need to build a rec center that is equidistant from all three of them so that it's fair all three cities are pulling their money to build this rec center and I want to put it so that it's in it's, it's the same driving distance the dream saving di same distance from all three of each of these cities and that's the only way that it can really be fair so I've drawn on these dots here representing the cities and the rec center and I've drawn these line segments here to represent the um, distance between them so I'm going to use GeoGebra here to help me. Um, first thing I'm going to do is get the distances for these line segments. So right click on the segment and go into Object Property. Uh, the label is going to show the value. Okay, And I'm going to select the other. While I have this set up, I'm going to select the other segments. Segment E and show the label and show the value. Same thing here with segment G, show label and make sure that the value is selected. So you can see here now if I click this and drag it around, if I place this rec center here, it's pretty close to Independence and Orion, but it's really far for the people from Oxford. If I just drag it over here, I have similar uh, issues close to Orion. So I want it to be somewhere out here. And of course we can guess and check and try to get it as close as we possibly can just dragging these around um, but our goal here is to do something better than guessing and checking to see if we can find a method for doing this that's absolutely certain and that's that's going to work every single time no matter what three cities uh, we are talking about so let's explore something a little bit different and what I'm going to do here is just uh, hide these lines here. You see over here where it says dependent objects, I have line segments D, E, and G. And there's a little bit of a tiny circle. If I click it, uh, it's going to unshow or it's going to hide those segments just so that the picture isn't cluttered. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is actually cr turn these three cities into a triangle. So I'm going to select my segment tool here segment between two points and make a segment between Oxford and Independence another segment between Independence and Orion and one more right here okay. and let me just go into my uh, object properties and I'm gonna select the color so I'm just gonna change all of these colors to black just so that uh, I don't get them too confused later okay. so I have a triangle here that represents the uh, connections, the distances between all three of these cities. Um, I'm going to first just hide one of these lines right here, this line, uh, segment A, just so that the picture is a little bit cleaner to see. You can imagine that it's there. But I'm really interested right now in these two sides, connecting Independence to Orion and Orion to Oxford. And I'm going to make use of my perpendicular bisector tool. So click on this little icon, select perpendicular bisector, and pick any two points, and it will draw the perpendicular bisector. Uh, again, I am going to change the color so that it looks a little bit, uh, it stands out a little bit more. Uh, let's make this thing um, green. Okay, so that's the perpendicular bisector. And one thing that we know about the perpendicular bisector is that any point that appears on this bisector, on this green line, will be equidistant from these two points. In other words, if I put the rec center anywhere on these two green on, on this green line, it will be equidistant from Oxford and equidistant from Orion Charter Township. And just to prove that, let's unhide our line segments. And you can see that it's pretty darn close. Let me unhide the other one too. Just looking at the two segment, the two distances from Oxford and Orion, as long as I stay on this green line, 
the distances are pretty close. I mean, then in fact, if I was to move this perfectly on there, it would be the distances would be exactly identical. Okay, and that's something that we can prove. But now I have this other problem. Just I've solved the problem for two cities, but I haven't figured out a way to solve it for the third. Where do I put it on this green line, so that it's going to satisfy the people in Independence as well? Now I can again I can also just guess and check just put it on this line here and just drag it along and see where uh, all three of the numbers are equal to each other but being good geometry students being good geometers uh, we want to find just a better way to do this besides just plain guess and checking so let's hide our distances once again set the rec center aside and let's draw in another perpendicular bisector. So let's draw the perpendicular bisector between independence and Orion. And let me change the color on this as well, just so that we have something, once again, a little bit that stands out a little bit more. Close. Okay. Now, if I put the rec center on the purple line here on this perpendicular bisector between independence and Orion, the rec center will be equal distance from independence and orient. And to prove that, let's put these two lines back in again. And you can see that as long as the rec center appears on the purple line, it will be equal distance from orient and independence. So if it's on the green line, it's satisfied. Let me put this line back here. If it's on the green line, it's the equal distance from Oxford and Orion. If it's on the purple line, it's equal distance from Orion and Independence. And if it's on the intersection of the green and the purple line, then it is equal distance to all three of those points. Okay. Now this is a, a interesting discovery, and we want to make sure that this is going to work all of the time. And so that's what we will explore next in trying to uh, complete a proof of this. But I just want to show you why this works. If I place the rec center right here in the middle, I, um, I have these other tools. Let me hide these perpendicular bisectors for a minute. I have my circle tool here, and I'm going to draw a circle through three points. I'm going to draw it using Oxford, Orion, and Independence. And hopefully what you're able to see in these three points is that if I draw a circle using these three points, the rec center is at the center of those three points, of, of the circle. Okay. And in fact, um, these distances here are all radii of the circle. So we have kind of an interesting uh, connection here between the, the triangle that connects all three of these cities and the distances between the these cities and our our rec center okay and we'll explore this relationship uh, in the next video when we do a formal proof of this idea